One afternoon, which is ever-present in my recollection, I was enjoying a walk with my friend in the city park and reciting poetry. At that age, I knew entire books by heart, word for word. One of these was Goethe's Faust. The sun was just setting and reminded me of the glorious passage. The glow retreats, done is the day of toil. It yonder hastes, new fields of life exploring. Ah, that no wing can lift me from the soil upon its track to follow, follow soaring. A glorious dream, though now the glories fade. Alas, the wings that lift the mind, no aid of wings to lift the body can bequeath me. As I uttered these inspiring words, the idea came like a flash of lightning, and in an instant, the truth was revealed. I drew with a stick in the sand, the diagrams shown six years later in my address before the American Institute of Electrical Engineers, and my companion understood them perfectly. The images that I saw were wonderfully sharp and clear, and had the solidity of metal and stone, so much so that I told him, See my motor here. Watch me reverse it. I cannot begin to describe my emotions. Pygmalion, seeing his statue come to life, could not have been more deeply moved. A thousand secrets of nature, which I might have stumbled upon accidentally, I would have given for that one which I had wrested from her against all odds and at the peril of my existence.